You know, uh, to decide what to include and what not to include in the book, I, I have, it's two parts to that answer. Um, I, I was enraged, I would say is not too strong a word, at seeing those very bland hospitals that had opened and spent all that money and had white with ivory as an accent color and uh, where in one of those major hospitals the maternity unit did not look any different than the standard med surge unit and I, I, I couldn't believe it. There was nothing that cued that this is where babies are born to celebrate that event. Um, so I was enraged and I started writing this as a manifesto to say this can't go on. You've got to be aware of this and uh, not let this keep happening. But then I started, uh, as to what to include, um, I firmly believe that we need to pay more attention to the areas where patients spend their time and, and where they are captive. You know, outpatient, you can decide if it's a, a horrible experience, you can go someplace else. But once you are admitted to that hospital for surgery or whatever it is, you're there. And in a sense, you are a prisoner and you can't just pick up and leave and so these this is where people are really vulnerable i realize that outpatient care, you know for 20 years they've been saying all the consultants that outpatient care is where it's all going to happen and hospitals are overbedded and they're building too many beds but you know what that hasn't proven to be true i mean they're still saying now 20 years later outpatient is where it's all going to happen and um, and it's going to happen in the home but we still have a need for hospitals, and every hospital is increasing, not decreasing the number of beds that they had planned to build. So uh, I wanted to put my focus where it really um, had the most impact, and that is acute care, and specifically the areas where patients spend their time. So that would be cancer care, that would be diagnostics, procedures, um, inpatient, there's a very large section of the book on inpatient uh, unit design. So that's, that's, how I, um, that's how I decided what to do. And as I said in, uh, earlier, um, just a, a circu uh, I had a circuitous path that uh, I would run into something that a client might ask me a question about infection control that set me to look something up and then I found a lot of other things and I went from one topic to another and uh, then had to figure out how to make a logical um, book out of this and take readers on this journey with me.